Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. To make a right angle bend, you hold the 139 bird beak pliers in your right hand if you're right handed with the round beak away from you. You place the wire between the beaks of the plier so that the diameter of the wire to be bent is smaller than the diameter of the round beak that it's contacting. Bending too large a wire in a 139 plier may damage the beaks of the plier. You orient the wire at 90 degrees to the plier beaks. Place your left thumb or left finger right on top of the wire in contact with the wire and the plier beaks and apply pressure towards the round beak. You push directly on the wire and also directly on the beaks of the plier. You make the bend about 30 degrees or one-third of the way, usually. Check it on a work model that you're constructing and place the beaks back in place and complete the 90-degree bend, again pushing directly on the beaks of the plier and on the wire itself. The wire for a 90-degree bend, if it's formed properly, should go straight into the bend and straight out of the curve. You, you want to make sure that the bend itself is confined to a small section of the wire, a small length of the wire. There are some problems you should avoid in making right angle bends. Don't make the bend too large. If you use too large a, a section, a cross section of the round beak of the plier, the right angle bend that you'll make will be more of a curve than a sharp bend and you may not achieve the accuracy that you want. Secondly, when you make a right angle bend, don't distort the straight sections of the wire by pushing with your fingers too far away from the beaks. If you push away from the beaks when you're making the bend, it's possible to end up with a straight section of wire coming into the bend and a curved section of wire coming out. And this is a little inaccuracy that you, you can avoid with the placing, placement of the fingers in the right spot. Thirdly, don't bend the wire over the round beak of the, or the square beak of the 139 pliers. If you do, it's possible to create a small surface defect in the wire, a nick in the wire that may bring about breakage later on. To bend the first exercise, you start by making a 90 degree bend in a piece of .030 diameter stainless steel wire. You try the wire on the exercise pattern. The wire should completely cover the lines on the pattern. You position it and then mark the spot where the next bend should be started. You use a china marking pencil, wax pencil, or even a felt tip pen will work just fine. You mark the wire directly at the corner. You place the wire in the beaks of the plier so that the right angle bend that you've already made is at exactly 90 degrees to the beaks of the plier. It's important to orient the wire properly in the plier beaks before you make any bend in order to maintain the flatness of the wire. You make about a 30 degree bend in the wire, about one third of the way, and at this point you check the flatness of the wire. Make sure you have it in this proper plane of space, same plane of space as the first 
arm. Now, from a side view, you check flatness by holding the corner that you've already bent, the right angle bend down, and observing if the section you've bent leaves the table. It does leave the table slightly, so an adjustment bend will have to be made to bring it into the same plane of space as the rest of the wire. And this is done by placing the plier over the wire. In this manner, you place the flat base portion of the plier on the wire and use your thumb or finger and make a slight downward bend to adjust the flatness. And it takes a series of bends up and down to achieve the, the ideal flatness that you want. After you have it flat, you place it again on the pattern and determine if you have located the bend in the right spot according to the exercise pattern. You see if you've started the bend in the right spot. You complete the 90 degree bend by again carefully orienting the wire in the pliers and pushing the wire over the round beak a little at a time so you maintain the flat plane in space as you're bending the wire. Check the wire on the pattern. A little more bend is needed to bring it directly over that line. You place a little bit more bend into it, try it back on the pattern. Then you check the flatness of the wire. You compare the wire then with a flat surface like a glass slab or a Formica surface. And if you made the first 30 degree bend correctly, I don't think this needs adjustment. Generally, the second bend will come out pretty accurate, in the same plane of space as this first leg. You place the wire back on the pattern and in exactly the same manner, mark the wire at the corner where you want the third bend to be made and complete the bending of this third right angle bend. First about 30 degrees Check the flatness. And then complete the final leg. You try it back on the pattern and you can mark the wire at the point where you want to cut it off. And the first exercise has been formed. When it's properly formed, the wires should completely cover the lines on the exercise sheet and it should be flat on a glass slab or formica surface, completely in one plane of space. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.